Welcome to Uniface Flow Basic Screencast. Uniface Flow is a premier business process management tool that allows you to model your business processes and deploy them as automated workflows. It enables business analysts to integrate business processes with disparate applications in and across enterprises. The goal of this screencast is to provide an overview of Uniface Flow as a tool for modeling, automating and integrating business processes and applications. A business process is a structured and managed set of work activities designed to produce a known output. A process management tool optimizes the logical, ordered and automated execution of the business process. This same tool can automate and integrate disparate applications and processes. A business process consists of a number of individual steps, each representing the atomic unit of the business process which is executed at a certain time and place. It cannot be split into smaller steps. Each step can use a software application. Steps can be initiated by users of the process management tool. We call these steps user-driven tasks, or by the tool itself, or so-called workflow-driven tasks. These process steps can also be initiated from the outside world by means of incoming messages or external software applications that are connected to the workflow via the APIs. A process management tool integrates the steps of a business process and allows you to modify or rearrange your business processes if needed. Modification can include adding or deleting individual steps, changing the order or setting conditions under which steps are executed. Uniface Flow allows you to model tasks, what we earlier called atomic steps, and connect these tasks in a business process model. During deployment, Uniface Flow executes the process model and automatically creates the tasks belonging to that process in a sequence defined by the model. Tasks can be created conditionally and can be assigned to actors, i.e. users of the system, but they can also be executed automatically. Applications that are needed to execute a task are linked to the task. Business process management enables data to be passed between the different tasks and the applications used to execute those tasks. The output of the business process can be the input for another business process. Business processes can be initiated by an action in another business process and they can contain sub-processes. The processes and sub-processes together make the overall workflow. To run the workflow, the various processes must be able to communicate and share information with each other. This is the function of the business process integration. Business process integration, or BPI for short, enables different business processes to automatically communicate with each other and enables a business process to be initiated by an outside process. This makes it possible to integrate business processes within your own organization as well as with external business processes of partners and other third parties. The supply chain, both internally and externally, can be integrated using Uniface Flow. For example, an order fulfillment process may include a credit check, this can be implemented by integrating an order process performed by the sales department with a credit check process performed by the finance department within the same company. But the company can also decide to outsource the credit check to a third party. In either case, the order fulfillment process can initiate the credit check process. A process always starts with an initiation task. This is the first activity of the process and creates a new process instance. An initiation task is user-driven meaning that the user decides whether this task should be executed. Once the process has been initiated, the workflow engine generates the workflow-driven tasks, which are tasks that are automatically scheduled by the workflow engine, rather than a user. For example, an order process can be broken down into the following steps. Enter order, which is a user-driven task, print order, print invoice, send invoice, receive payment, and ship order. Some steps must be executed by an employee with a certain responsibility. Other steps, such as a print order and print invoice, are executed automatically without user intervention. These are known as batch tasks. There is no need to schedule such a task in a to-do list for an employee. In this example, when an order has been entered, i.e. the enter order task has been executed, the next two tasks are performed without user intervention. After the print invoice has been executed, the workflow engine generates the workflow-driven task, send invoice. This task is scheduled and appears in the task console, or to-do list, of an assigned employees. The next tasks are also workflow-driven, 
and are added to employee task consoles only when the previous task is completed. The heart of the Uniface Flow development environment is the Uniface Flow Modeler, a graphical tool that allows you to model business processes. All model definitions are stored in a relational database, the Development Workflow Repository. A process is modeled using the following building stones. Start and end. These are the elements that mark the start and end of the process. Tasks. These are the activities that must be executed. Flow elements. Elements that connect the tasks in a correct sequence. Split and join elements. Elements that enable the process to branch. Messages. Elements that enable communication between processes. During process development and prior to deployment in a production environment, the process should be tested. Testing is done in a development environment, which makes it possible for changes made with the modeler to be tried out immediately. You can prototype the process without integrating the software applications that may be needed when the process is finally deployed. This enables you to focus on the process, refining it to reflect the real-world situation, rather than on the software applications. Testing can be done incrementally. Rather than testing the whole workflow, you can test small parts. A workflow can be made of multiple processes and you can test each of these separately. The software necessary to execute automated tasks can be integrated after the business process has been successfully prototyped. At this stage, you can test the whole process as it should be when deployed. For deploying business process model, Uniface Flow provides a number of applications. The task console is an individual electronic to-do list for each user or actor who executes tasks in the process. The task console is used only to execute tasks that require the intervention of an actor. Batch tasks are executed in the background. In the task console, actors can start the tasks that are assigned to them by the workflow engine, so-called workflow-driven tasks. Actors can also execute user-driven tasks by selecting them from the drop-down list. Most user-driven tasks initiate the process. If required, you can also make changes to the deployed business process model using the process console. The process console enables you to create different versions of the same business process. The process model versions are stored in the deployment workflow repository. This database also stores the runtime data about individual process instances that is used and created by the business process server. The business process server is the process that schedules new tasks. To execute batch tasks, the task server is required. The remote message server enables remote business processes to integrate with each other using B2B messaging. Uniface Flow also provides APIs that enable external applications to integrate with Uniface Flow and also enable you to develop tailor-made task console. In the current marketplace, customer demands change very quickly. Modifying a business process can be time-consuming, difficult and expensive. These are good reasons for using a BPM tool. A BPM tool focuses on the basic components of the process rather than on the system or software applications used. It makes it possible to easily change the business process, adapting the business to changing conditions in the marketplace. Take the case of a simple order process previously discussed. Changing conditions required to perform a credit check before you grant an order to a customer. At the same time, your customers demand a quicker delivery time, so you have to perform more efficiently. This requires the following updates to the process model. Add a conditional step that executes the credit check under specified conditions. If the credit check fails, the order is cancelled. Also, execute the two print tasks at the same time. There is no special need to finish the print order job before you start the print invoice. By executing these print jobs at the same time, the whole process is more efficient. Implementation of these modifications must be smooth and quick as possible. During deployment time, Uniface Flow lets you modify your business processes and facilitates the implementation of the process in your organization. The Process Console does not allow you to develop new processes, but you can make small adjustments, creating new versions of existing processes that contain all the necessary modifications to cope with the new customer demands. During deployment, you can put the updated version of the process into production and put the older version of the process on hold. Permanent changes cannot be implemented in the process console because there is no export facility from the process console. This concludes our presentation. Thank you.